Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you another edition of Inside the Lab Hunt's Playbook, where today we're going to be talking about designing and calling plays in sequence. All right, now here's a play we're going to describe, and it's all about designing a play and building off of the same exact play, utilizing the same exact motions and blocking assignments. Usually your blocking assignments will alter a little bit as far as play action pass and regular drop back passes are concerned. But the play we're gonna work with is called far right zoom in the round. And after this, we're gonna have the play action, we're gonna have the drop back pass, we're gonna have different ways you can utilize this play as far as designing and sequencing your offense. So far right, zoom in the round. The reason why it's called far right, the tailback is furthest away from the tight end. So this is your Y, and this is your Z, and this is your X. A back, B back. T tailback furthest away from the tight end, far formation, far right, right, designating the strong side of the formation. And so we're gonna do zoom. Zoom is telling you the motion of the Z receiver. Now we were gonna do a sprint or as far as him just running, as you see like on those jet sweeps. So we're just gonna call this a zoom. Just a regular slow motion coming across. We're gonna hand him the ball right here. And here's how we're gonna block it. Now, first of all, we have it against a 50 front. Now we know defensive coordinators can draw up any type of stunts, blitzes, different types of coverages to defend this. So this is not attacking a certain type of coverage. This is showing you how to sequence your play. So we're not gonna even give these guys any type of coverage besides your base formation. So we're just going to try to show you how to block it and how to sequence plays and designing your plays if you're an offensive coordinator. So this is against a 50 front. You see here we're going to block this and it's important that everything has to look the same way and we'll explain why. So let's say we want the tight end to attack this strong safety. He's going to block him. So he's going to stalk up here and attack the strong safety. That's his guy. Big on big right here. Tackle on tackle. We want the backside guard and the center to combo to this on his nose tackle. The center's gonna combo and move up to the mic backer. So that way we can get the mic backer block. That's important because we don't want this guy to scrape over top and kill this guy in the hole. Right here. This is what this is important. You have three on two. So we gotta find a creative way to block three on two. And this is how we're gonna do this. You got the play side guard. We're gonna pull this guy to come around and take out that backer right there. Reason why, let me show you. Big on big right here, tackle on tackle. This is a key backer. What we're gonna do here is gonna get creative. We're gonna take this receiver and we're gonna crack back on that guy right there. That's important, get this guy out of the direction because the corner will be blocked by the B back, the full back. He's gonna come out and knock out this corner. This guy's gonna fake this way and take out this backside linebacker. Reason why, this guy is gonna be the pass guy or a play action guy, we have a play running off of this. And the reason why we're bringing this guy across the formation is because the quarterback has to reverse out and have that action, that uh, action of actually handing the ball off to the A-back, we wanna give that illusion. That slows down flow. It also gets these guys flowing this way. Once they see the quarterback turn his back the opposite way, the back going that way, the linebacker is going to cheat over to the left side or to the side of the back and the quarterback is facing. And that allows this play to open up. So the zoom motion comes across and that's the mesh point right there. We're going to hand this off and this guy should take it up right there. Should have a lot of daylight. His job is to beat that free safety guy right there. So that's far right zoom in the round. Very good productive play. You block, you block this properly, you can have some success versus a 50 front. But that's how you want to get this thing going, far right zoom, end around. Now we're going to show you next on the passing play off of this. Now this is where we're talking about sequencing plays. This is the pass play off of the first play, far right zoom, end around. This one is called far right zoom, end around, 87 B out. The reason why we call it 87 B out is this, eight, seven, B out. Eight route, deep, comeback route, boom, right there. Seven is gonna run that skinny post. The cool part about it is that he's gonna stalk up like he's going to attack the strong safety again and break to the post. B out, the B back right here, the fullback. Instead of going like he's blocking, he's you know just drifting out into the flat, B out right there. Same situations, same rules apply. The zoom motion, here, coming across the formation, faking the mesh point, 
His job is to block this outside linebacker if he's attacking like this. And that's important because now you have the tailback again, going back over this way, occupying this guy. That's important. 87 B out. This would be your first read right here. This is your second read, the backside post, and your safety valve, the out right there. So you see how the sequence of the first play allows you to the, the opportunity to set up the second play right off the plaque. Your quarterback reverses out, drops back, and can hit one, two, or three. So when you sequence your plays, you're giving yourself the flexibility to confuse the defense by making sure everything looks the same. The motion is still the same. The stalking up to the strong safety is still the same. This guy is still running out here and coming back. That's the only thing that really changes. His route, he's running up the field, coming back down. But the motion's right here by the B-back and by the tailback going to block that backer. So that's far right, zoom, end around, 87, B out. Now, the next, we're going to show you another formation, or uh, same formation, but another sequence of plays stemming from far right, zoom, end around. Now the toss play is one of my favorite plays. It takes advantage of an over aggressive defense and also takes advantage of flow. And the slight misdirection of bringing the A back back across the formation is huge when this play is designed. But you see, same formation, same principle. Far right, zoom, 37 toss. And here's how you're gonna block it. We're gonna bring the guy, the zoom guy over. We're gonna show that in a second. But the 37 toss is going to the B back right there. You, if you have an athletic fullback or two tailbacks that you love to use in the backfield together, this would be a great play because it confuses the defense because you can't designate which guy is the fullback. So that's why it's important when you're building your team to get guys that are versatile, guys that are scheme versatile. They can play any position, they can block for each other. Usually teams that have two backs that can play either side usually do well, so I like that about it. So we're going to the B-back, the fullback right here. Far right, zoom, 37 toss, which means we're attacking the seven hole, which is the outside. How you wanna block this is very simple. First off, you wanna have the X, he's blocking the corner. So he's gonna work this corner right here, and we're gonna keep this action concentrated on this side, but backside, you gotta protect. Guy is slow blocking, he wants to get a chip on that backer, work his way to block the strong safety. The A back with that misdirection, that slight misdirection, is coming back side of the formation and taking out this backer. So you have, boom, blocking. Combo, combo, the center is gonna combo to the mic backer, get him blocked. Big on big, tackle on tackle. We're gonna pull the play side guard and take out this backer. Why, because now you have the Z motion, the zoom motion, coming across the formation and leading up. He's gonna perhaps take out this guy right there. You want him to take that guy out once he's flowing to the football. And this is a toss right here. So the quarterback is gonna reverse out this way like he's handing off and toss it to the B-back who's sweeping around the outside with one man to beat. So that's far right, zoom, 37 toss. But you see how the same motion, same motion from the Z receiver, same motion from the quarterback, it allows you the opportunity to run three plays out of this formation using the same type of style of play. So the defense can't key on personnel, they can't key on motion, they can't key on direction. This type of play out of the first original play, the end of round, gives you so much flexibility. Now we got one more play to show you on how you can attack these guys, two more plays, I'm sorry, on how you can attack these guys out of this formation, out of the play, and it's all about sequencing your plays to where they all fit together. And finally, we're finally gonna throw the football off of the fake toss. So now you have far right, zoom, fake 37 toss, boot, 76 A flat. I know that's a lot of words, but that's how you give it the description. That's how you designate everything that has to happen in this play. Far right formation, we explained that before. Zoom will be the motion coming across. Fake 37 toss, which would be fake to this guy, the three back or the, or the B back, whichever you want to call it. 76 A flat. A back right here. A guy is coming. Remember we send him back across formation throughout all of the plays? The defense will think he's coming to block this guy right here as he has done every play. But now he gets his opportunity to go out into the flat and make some money. And he's going to be your first read right there. A flat. 76 right here. 76 is the post play. You're coming across. Boom. He's attacking right there. That's your post. 76. Corner route. Coming out. Corner. That's your second read. You got time if you're lucky enough. That's your third read. And we're faking a toss. So that means right here, this guy is coming block 
play side back because the quarterback is going to reverse out, fake that toss. The zoom is still coming across, and he's going to hang out here in the flat. This is pretty much a dead play for him. He's just kind of chilling over this way. It could be a dump off. It could be a safety valve. But the coach, I mean, the quarterback right here is faking the pitch. Then as he reverse pivots out to the bootleg, he's attacking the line of scrimmage. And now he has his first read, his second read, and his third read if this guy continues to keep coming across the field. But you see, far right zone, fake 37 boot, toss boot, 76 A flat. So what you have done in four plays have created, you created yourself four plays out of one play, that far right zoom in the round. And out of that play, out of that zoom motion, out of that action by the A back coming across the back, coming across the formation, blocking the backside linebacker, you've effectively, you've effectively fooled the defense into thinking one play is going one way consistently. Every time you line up, you want to make it seem like the same thing. It protects yourself against a defense grabbing onto your tendencies and effectively coming up and stopping it. But you see right here, again, far right zoom, fake 37 tallest boot, 76 A flat. A lot of good things you can do out of one play. You can create really as many plays as you want, but you want to make sure each play stays the same type of way in order to confuse the defense. And also, I forgot to add, you want to pull this guy out right here. So what's going to happen, you want to pull, I'm sorry, pull the play side guard out right there. So that way you have some protection leading up and blocking. So this guy could block here, block there. You kind of attack the line of scrimmage in your regular pass protection, pass protection set. But you also want to pull the back, the play side guard toward the play as the quarterback attacks the line of scrimmage. One, two, three, that should get you going. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Inside the Play, Inside the Laugh Hunt's Playbook. I remember